Tesla now leads the electric car market, selling about two out of every three EVs in the United States. It's also more than twice as valuable as any other car maker. Teslas are a status symbol, and Elon Musk, the company's CEO, is kind of a celebrity with 59 million more Twitter followers than the next most popular automotive CEO. Tesla's also become a household name, and other automakers are attempting to follow in its footsteps. However, some of this effort might have not learned from Tesla's early blunders and are now encountering problems. One of them is Rivian. Let's take a look at how Rivian failed to learn from Tesla and is now paying the consequences. So there's a segment of the market that wants an electric car but is put off by Tesla's lineup, CEO or in some cases both. Which might be advantageous to one of its competitors, Rivian, which was founded in 2009, which are planning to manufacture an electric pickup truck and a sports utility vehicle. Both models are expected to hit the road by the summer and will be manufactured in an ex-Mitsubishi facility in Illinois. Rivian is also working with Amazon on electric delivery vehicles. Although Rivian's concept is what the future requires, the company has not learned from Tesla and has undergone the same path of mistakes as Tesla did. Rivian would not be the first eye-catching electric vehicle firm to make a sensation and then vanish if it fails, and no doubt, Rivian has also made misconducts that can prove to be fatal. So now let's have a look at the obstacles Rivian is currently facing. Rivian's production is being pushed back. The Rivian R1T electric pickup has been delayed yet again, with pre-sale purchasers advised that their vehicle wouldn't be available for a long time. Rivian has also stated that the pickup electric vehicle will not be ready for launch. It's a letdown for what has already been touted as one of the first electric trucks to hit the market. Rivian's R1T and its three-row SUV brother, the R1S, were revealed in late 2018, and the car maker lost no time in promising a quick delivery schedule. According to Rivian, the R1T would arrive first in the late 2020, with the R1S following short after. In actuality, the traditional obstacles of developing a new vehicle, along with the impact of the pandemic and the semiconductor supply chain as it attempts to return to normalcy, threw a wrench in that plan. Rivian stated in May of 2021 that it will begin shipping EVs in July rather than June, while some R1T launch edition vehicles were not planned to be delivered until spring 2022. Rivian CEO R.J. Scaringe, 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 I'm so sorry to whoever's name I just butchered three different times, stated in an email to clients that things had deteriorated again. We know you can't wait to get behind the wheel of your vehicle, he said according to Automotive News. Aside from the delay itself, the reasons for the setback were unsurprising. Scaringe blames that the problems are affecting most automakers right now. The cascading effects of the pandemic have had a compounding effect greater than anybody could have anticipated, the CEO wrote. Everything from facility construction to equipment installation to vehicle component supply, especially semiconductors, has been impacted by the pandemic. Beyond these unforeseen challenges, launching three new vehicles while setting up a multi-vehicle manufacturing plant is a complex orchestra of coordinated and interlinked activities where small issues can translate into massive ramp delays. The last argument refers to the reality that Rivian is now attempting to fulfill two distinct consumer groups, while the R1T and the R1S models are manufactured on a single line. The carmaker is also producing electric delivery vans for Amazon on a separate line and at its normal Illinois factory. Amazon has placed a 100,000 unit order for the electric vehicles, which are expected to be delivered by 2030. The retail behemoth stated that 10,000 of the cars would be in service in 2022. Scaringe admits that Rivian might be doing a better job of communicating with consumers, or that they could be doing a better job, which seems obvious considering that it's already halfway through the month and some people assume that they'd be getting their new pickup by now, and they're only now learning of the latest delay. See, the CEO acknowledges potential owners' dissatisfaction with the fact that hundreds of electric vehicles have been created as validation cars rather than actual delivery vehicles. Rivian has likewise followed Tesla's lead in favoring employee delivery above non-employee clients. In mid-September, the first customer-ready R1T electric pickup vehicle went off the assembly line. After more than a decade of hard labor, it was a watershed moment for Rivian. Many people expected customer deliveries to begin shortly with the production of the first car, especially given that they had recently provided an update to reservation holders indicating deliveries will begin in September. The first delivery, however, was made to long-term employees during a special ceremony. The firm still has yet to deliver a vehicle to a paying client, but it has given over more R1T vehicles to staff. 
Travis Munson, who, according to his Twitter page, works in Rivian's facilities planning department. I mean, he was one of those workers. He posted many photos of his delivery to the company's normal Illinois location. Jody Ravery, another Rivian employee who, according to this LinkedIn page, is a group leader at the firm, also uploaded photographs of his new R1T on Facebook. Hopefully these deliveries suggest that the customers who have been waiting for their R1T for a long time now will be able to obtain theirs shortly as well. However, upsetting your customer base in this manner is not the best idea. Posting it on Facebook too? Clever. If you, if you believe this at the end of it, be prepared to be struck with another bolt of lightning. Ford's luxury Lincoln brand was working on an all-electric SUV in collaboration with Rivian, which has just been cancelled. Moreover, despite the fact that the business's first customer R1T vehicle rolled off the line owing to pandemic-related delays, the company has burned through over a billion dollars this year and still believes it will remain unprofitable for the foreseeable future, quote-unquote, in its filing. Supply chain problems such as chip shortages also have hampered manufacturing of the pair of cars, and the business may struggle to satisfy its almost 50,000 pre-orders without any more delays. Ford isn't exactly handing over the EV market to Rivian either. Despite the fact that it said it would continue to collaborate closely with Rivian, the company's own EV goals may benefit or hinder the cooperation. Ford has received over 150,000 pre-orders for its all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, and the electric motor powering the Ford Mustang Mach-E is being used to kickstart the EV-based retrofit and custom vehicle industry. Furthermore, when it comes to replacing gas-guzzling machines with electric versions, firms are counting on other EV producers. Hertz is committed to buy 100,000 Tesla Model 3 cars that added to its rental fleet. While two are still working out the logistics of the enormous order, Rivian, on the other hand, appears to be betting on Amazon's resolve to gain momentum in the stock market. Battery fire is another unusually Tesla-related misconduct. According to the Normal Fire Department, the fire at the Rivian electric pickup truck manufacturing in Normal, Illinois was a minor one. Fortunately, it did not spread to any Rivian R1T models, since we really want production to continue as planned. According to a report from the Normal Fire Department, I just can't get enough. The whole town's name is Normal. What a what a normal thing to have as a name. The Rivian Automotive Assembly Plant in Normal, Illinois was evacuated for a brief period as a precaution following a minor fire. The fire started in a battery assembly section that was automated. The damage was very minor and nobody was hurt. After 5 p.m., regular firemen responded to a report of the fire in a battery assembly area. Once the fire was identified, they rapidly extinguished it with a hose line. Cells were also quickly cooled to avoid thermal runaway. The building's HVAC system and exhaust fans fanned the smoke out to a minimum safe level. Employees then returned to the building in safety. When Rivian initially demonstrated what it named the tank turn function, it actually shattered the internet, with images of it appearing on hundreds of websites, some of which had nothing to do with cars. The video presentation of the action wowed viewers and got them talking, but it appears it won't be accessible on the R1T. It's a devilishly simple notion that has proven far more difficult to implement than you'd anticipate. The main problem of which is safety. Getting the truck to tank turn safely and reliably is no easy task. I mean, listen to the name, tank turn. The most significant difficulty is the large number of variables involved. What you see in the video was a best case situation, and the Rivian crew was fortunate enough to record a solid turn in their first try. Rivian doesn't know when the function is gonna be available, but their first objective is not to just put it in a car as a pointless gimmick. They want it to be a helpful component that will keep the car running and when, when conducting significant off-roading. The majority of Rivian's engineering efforts are currently focused on delivering the R1T, the R1S, and the Amazon van to market as quickly as possible. Following that, they'll be able to work on the R2 and R3 models. Although the team hasn't forgotten about tank turn though, don't you worry, they gonna be turning tanks. A difficulty of the off-road gadget that most purchasers are only use once to like impress their friends and their family, yeah, that doesn't put it at a high priority, so it's understandable as cool as it is. Sanderson couldn't provide us with an updated schedule, and he is fully aware of how futuristic tank turn is and how, how many people on his team are anxious to improve it. Rivian is seeking to capitalize on the same potential that Tesla has spotted and pushed, transportation electrification. Most car executives today have very little doubt that this is the entire direction that the entire world is entirely heading. Tesla has gone from producing 50,000 vehicles per year to producing 10 times that number last year in the last five years. However, given all of Rivian's blunders, this desire appears to be somewhat of a pipe dream. Rivian will also have to demonstrate that it can mass build automobiles profitably. When a new manufacturer transitions from batch to mass manufacturing, there's always going to be unknowns. Costs might rise, or reduce, or even eliminate Rivian's earnings. And Rivian has to start learning from its own errors, as well as the errors of others. I mean, 
Ah, otherwise, this venture for Rivian is going to be a long, difficult, and hard one. No, no sex pun intended. Later, guys. <laughs>